Hey there, it's Tuesday and we say Taco Tuesday, right? So I am going to attempt to make some tacos, but I'm using this that I got from Trader Joe's. Jicama wraps. Haven't tried them before, but we're going to see what these are like, okay? They're in the refrigerated section where they have the cheeses and the meat and all that stuff. Um, so again, jicama wraps, three grams of total carb per serving. Ingredients is just fat. And again, those of us who are attempting to be low carb, we get one gram net carbs per two wraps. Okay. So ready to eat, enjoy fresh or as part of your favorite recipe. So um, I don't think I want it cold. Um, after I get my ground beef cooked, I think I'm going to put a couple in the pan and, you know, warm them up a little bit. I did read, I, of course, Google is our friend. I did Google, like, what to do for the jicama wraps. And they did, seem, you know, kind of grill it a little bit on each side for a couple minutes. So I think, I think I'm going to do that for at least one. And then maybe the second one I'll try cold. But I'm thinking for the one that I'm going to warm up. When I put it in and warm it, you'll see what I'm going to do. Just watch. Okay. I also got my little ground beef from Trader Joe's also. I did not get grass fed. I just got an 80-20 um, mix. But, again, it's Trader Joe's, so it should be good, right? Ground beef. Product of the USA. So, let me get ready to brown my ground beef and assemble tacos. All right, placing the ground beef in, but I wanted to show you quickly what I'm going to use to season it with. I'm not going to do a regular um, taco seasoning. I'm going to put in a little bit of oregano, a little bit of cumin. I've got some sea salt. I'm going to do a little bit of chili powder. I'm going to use some garlic powder. I'm going to add in some ground black pepper. I'm going to add in some smoked paprika. I'm also going to use this South African smoke, which is paprika flakes, sea salt, garlic, and basil. So I'll be doing a little bit of double duty. And I don't have onion. Well, I do have onion powder, but I want to use up this little bit of minced onion that I have. So I'm going to add this here also. So that's going to be the seasoning for the ground beef. Let me get started because it's The browning begins, and I must say, it smells delicious. The ground beef is all ready. I have to say, with all of the seasonings I use to make my own taco seasoning, it smells delicious. So this is what I'm planning to add once I get the tacos all ready. Add just a small little guacamole. I buy the little packets. Sour cream, of course. I've got some um, Colby and Monterey Jack shredded. Sliced up a couple olives. Have some jalapenos. And I didn't have lettuce, so this is actually some spinach that I cut up. So, Alright. Let's check out the jicama wraps. I've opened it. Okay. Nice, easy, simple, thin, as you can see how thin it is. Okay. Um, I guess they wouldn't be too bad if I left it chilled because I've had it out to be room temperature so it's not as cold. But I do plan to heat one or two first. So let's get it heated up and assemble my first taco. I did add a bit of butter to the pan and again I'll place the one wrapped down just to warm it just a bit and I'm going to flip it onto the other side in just a moment I'm now going to flip it. it hasn't been in here very long but Get a little bit of a sizzle going on here. So the extra that I wanted to do with warming it was to put a little bit of cheese in here. 
so we'll see if that melts a little bit in letting it sit to be taco number one. I'm thinking I may want two in here to be warm, so I'm going to throw the second one in as well. Second wrap had a bit more of a sizzle, and as you can see, my cheese is starting to melt a little bit. So one will have melted cheese, and the second one not so melted. <laughs> Let me remove this one from the pan. The ground beef is all done, of course. Just gonna take a little bit to add to that shell. Um, because these are small, it's not like you can do a lot of stuffing. So we will continue layering. <laughs> Listen, this little spoon is from when my grandson was a baby. I call him Grammy's Handsome Prince. He is now 14 years old. Anyway, this was his. So I'll use this to put a little bit of my guacamole, some of the sour cream. I won't add more cheese, but I will add spinach, olives, and my jalapeno. Here it is with all my goodies added in. So let's take a bite. Okay, here it is. Let's see. So the wrap itself, it's still a bit flimsy. It didn't really get crisp in the skillet, but we shall do a taste test. Lord, bless this food that I'm about to receive. Remove any impurities, oh God. Allow it to be nourishing to my body as you are for my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's do a bite. Mmm. Mmm. It is good. Doesn't give it a weird old taste, but you can hear a little bit of the crunch maybe from the jicama wrap. But as you see, it's only like a two bite, well, okay, maybe a three bite taco all in all. Mmm. It is good. So I would give a thumbs up for the jicama wraps. Let's finish it off, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Happy Taco Tuesday. Two thumbs up. Trader Joe's Hickam Rats. Try it. Let me know what you think. All right. I'm going to get ready to make my second taco. And continue to enjoy this beautiful Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've tried them before. If you have any other nice ways to try it. Adding that cheese to it was pretty good. In my opinion. Alright. Until next time folks. Peace.